Hey guys, this is Gunter from alerttimelapse.com and today I have a very special announcement for you, Alert Time Lapse 5. I've been working a long time on this and it's it's beautiful. It has so many new features and it's such a fun working with it. I've done hundreds of time lapses in the last weeks and months. I'm more than happy with the new version. I hope you will like it too. So today I'm going to walk you through some new features. Uh, this is not an extensive tutorial. This is more for the experienced alert time lapse user that just is curious to see what uh, is new in alert time lapse 5. So if you have never worked with alert time lapse, please check out my basic tutorials. They are new for alert time lapse 5 as well and uh, you will learn how to use all those amazing features. When you open up the new Alert Time Lapse 5, you'll instantly see that something has changed. Every single icon has been redone. They are all high resolution now. They scale well. The whole interface scales well on high resolution displays. One thing that you'll instantly notice are those uh, workflow indicators here. So this is very handy to see um, in which position of the workflow you are when you edit a couple of sequences. Here, for example, you can see this uh, time lapse has already been finished. This is a finished indicator. This is keyframes, this is auto transition, visual previews, deflicker, and so on. So let's just start with a new time lapse where we don't have any editing yet. So everything is clear here on the workflow indicators. So I will just load this one and now you notice, okay, you get the dimmed indicators and after loading when clicking keyframes wizard for example you'll notice that you get the keyframes indicator now we do the holy grail wizard and you will see the holy grail indicator do the auto transition now you'll see you get the auto transition indicator here generate your visual previews and you will see after they are finished you'll get the visual previews indicator and so on this is for the visual deflicker and this one here is a special indicator that you can set manually. So whenever you feel your sequence is really completed, just click on this check mark and the sequence will get green here and you'll know that this one has been finished. Now we have one last indicator. This is that small orange triangle. And this one just indicates that you already have a video rendered for this. When you go to Lightroom and you export and render from Alert Time Lapse, you'll get a link between the original sequence and the rendered intermediary files uh, and the linked video. After loading the sequence, you'll see you get this playback indicator here for the videos. Just click on it and you'll see that you have two rendered videos for this sequence. Double click on one and you'll get your video player playing back that rendered sequence. Of course, when you start new with Alert Time Lapse 5, you won't have those links established yet, but it's easy to fix. So, for example, here I have my Peru folder without any playback items selected. So I can just right click on it and assign the default rendered folder. So you just choose the folder that you have used to put all the rendered files for the Peru time lapse inside. This is where all the LRT intermediary sequences end up and of course the videos as well. So I will just assign this. LRT time lapse found all the videos that are inside that folders and you can now play them directly back. And you don't even need to load up the sequence itself into LR time lapse. You can just right click on it and say show rendered videos and this will just give you the same dialogue and you can now play back this here as well. Okay, let's have a look at some other improvements. For example, the Holy Grail wizard. Oh, here we have a sequence that I've shot in Holy Grail technique by just changing the camera settings manually. I did a couple of errors here. So I just changed to the wrong direction, for example, and then changed back. And this used to be things that the Holy Grail wizard could not deal too well with. But let's have a look how this works in LR Time Lapse 5. I'm doing the keyframes wizard 
and now the holy grail wizard but this one will now calculate the compensations a little bit different and much better because now you see the uh, curve is really a mirrored one from the blue luminance curve and uh, you'll even see that small flicker effects will just get compensated automatically and let's just do the test i will save i will not go to lightroom this time i will not edit my keyframes i will just show you on the original footage what happens just with the holy grail wizard when i turn on the visual previews let's talk about the visual preview creation it's much faster now because it will use all the processor cores that your pc or mac offer the computer has a lot of cores it's a threadripper amd ryzen every single one will get used for the visual preview creation and this makes it very very fast of course if you don't have so many cores on your computer if you have an eight core processor all timers will automatically detect this and use only eight parallel processes you can already see that we get a pretty smooth uh, visual luminance curve here just due to the improved holy grail wizard and another thing that's new now you can play back while the previews are being generated and if you play back while the previews are not complete it will work but it will stop at the position here where the first preview is missing you can have a look here at the time estimation that we now have for all tasks in lr time lapse it will give you a rough estimation on how long this is taking okay let's have a look at another sequence this one is a heavy holy grail sequence as well and you can see the holy grail wizard just did its job i went to lightroom and i did some heavy editing so after generating the visual previews you can see there is still some flicker going on here shift play you can play back from the cursor position and you see there's a lot of flickering going on here we will remove it uh, just using the visual deflicker and unlike LR Timelapse 4, you have a couple of more options here in version 5. So the smoothing basically is the same. You would set the smoothing to follow up the trend of the natural brightness here. So not do it too smooth, but just follow up the general curve. And what is new now is uh, we can do a multipass deflicker. In the old version, you could apply deflicker, wait until the visual previews have been redone, then uh, refine the deflicker, wait again, refine, and so on. Now it's much easier because you can just set it to multipass deflicker and set the maximum number of passes, for example, to two or three. Usually this is enough. What I'll do here is three passes of deflicker and I click apply and now our timeless will do this on its own and I will show you what happens. I will speed it up for you so that you can see all the magic in a time lapse. And now we finished the first pass and all in the middle of the second pass and as you can see after the first path, uh, the flicker has nearly begun. So what is happening now is just really fine tuning on the settings. And uh, yeah, let's just see what happens with the second and third pass. Now pass three is starting and I guess it's not that many images anymore to do. Ah, it's already finished. So it has only been a couple of images. You hear the ding, this means we are done. And now we have a pretty smooth sequence here. The flickering worked out automatically with the multipass feature. Well, let's have a look what's new in the LRT export plugin in Lightroom. Normally you prepare your sequences in LR timelapse and for each sequence you come to Lightroom, read metadata and then export. Now what you can do with LR Timelapse 5 is just prepare your sequences in LR Timelapse with the keyframe editing and so on, transitions, visual deflicker and all that stuff for a couple of sequences. Then at the end, come to Lightroom, select all those sequences here 
and then select all images inside that selection. Let me show you. You have we have multiple sequences here now. Select all of those, go to metadata, read metadata from files for all of those sequences. What's new is that you can just go to export, leave everything selected and choose your output folder here and you will see name of the sequence multiple sources. This means a lot of time lapse export plugin here has detected that you have selected multiple folders and then you can just go to export. Alerty export will create a big export task with all of those files that you have selected. In this case it's 1649 files and once one sequence finishes it will hand it over to Alert Timelapse. Alert Timelapse will render and uh, give you the, the video file and we'll do this subsequently for all of those uh, sequences. So the cool thing is you can prepare 20 sequences during the day while you're working and don't care about Lightroom, then load metadata all at once for all of those sequences and export them all at once overnight and next morning we'll have 20 time-lapse clips finished and rendered on your hard drive. That's pretty cool because it saves a lot of time. Back in alert time lapse, for example, this shortcut here is the render dialog. You've already seen it. This shortcut here will render a preview video. Let's just click here and you'll see the video rendering. It's a low resolution video from your visual previews. The third of those buttons here is a very cool new feature. It creates a composition of a render time-lapse sequence. Let's try it. We just go here and you get a choose button here to choose your intermediary sequence. I just use this one. It's a nice transition from sunrise. You will instantly get a preview here of your composition. So you have a couple of options here what you could do. Uh, for example, you can set the number of stripes. The less stripes we do, the rougher this will appear. Then you can set a transition with, if I put this to 100%, create the preview, you will get a smooth fade between the stripes. If you put it to 50%, the fade will be smaller. You can remove images from the beginning. In this case here, it's nice because we have the red part in the middle. Uh, let me increase the number of stripes and it's up to your creativity what you can do with this. And then when you click on create composition, it will create that composition in full resolution in background and put it into your render folder. Well, this is just one example. It's up to your creativity to uh, make some great compositions. And if you have some, of course, please join us in the forum and uh, send us your work. I'm always excited to see it. Well, I hope you are as excited as I am about Alert Time Lapse 5. It's really fun to play with it. It's really fun to work with it. And for all of you that do a massive amount of time lapse work, it will considerably uh, save your precious time and make your work much more efficient. So check out my new tutorials. You will find everything on alerttimelapse.com. If you have a former Alert Time Lapse license, you can get a discounted upgrade to Alert Time Lapse 5. So check it out on alerttimelapse.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. This is Gunter. Bye bye. See you.